Hello friends. Today we will discuss mastic asphalt, its design and construction. Mastic asphalt is a bituminous mix of bitumen, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate and filler material. It works as a waterproofing material and is used as wearing coats for a whole range of construction work of roads and bridges. Aggregate, filler and bitumen are mixed in such proportions as to yield a plastic and zero wires mass. When applied hot, it forms a very dense and impermeable surfacing. It protects structural concrete and flexible pavement top from wear and tears due to environmental impact. Materials for making mastic asphalt are same as for any other bitumen mix, but requirements are different. Here we need a harder grade of binder. Binder can be either paving grade or industrial grade bitumen meeting these requirements. Penetration should be 20 to 40, softening point 80 to 90 degrees Celsius, ductility should be at least 3 cm, loss on heating 1% maximum, solubility in trichloroethylene 95% minimum and ash content should not be more than 1%. But in case of cold regions having temperature less than 10 degrees centigrade, VG40 can also be used as a binder. Now these specifications are slightly different from what is given in MORTH 2013. These specifications are from IRC 107 2013. In MORTH specification, penetration value is 15 plus minus 5. And this softening point is also lower 65 plus minus 10 degrees centigrade. Coarse aggregate for mastic crushed stone, crushed gravel or any other stone which is clean, hard, durable or fairly cubical shape free from soft, organic or other deleterious material can be used as coarse aggregate in mastic asphalt. Physical requirement as suggested in IRC 107 for coarse aggregate to be used in mastic are like this. The abrasion value should be maximum of 30%, impact value 24%. Now, these values are slightly different in MORTH specification of 2013. The abrasion value is 40% and impact value is 30%. Whereas in IRC 107, these are 30 and 24. Combined flakiness elongation index should be maximum of 35, stripping value 5% maximum and soundness test should be conducted and loss with sodium sulfate after 5 cycles is 12% and with maximum sulfate it is 18%. Water absorption should not be more than 2%. Mastic is laid in one layer only but thickness can vary from 20 mm to 50 mm and grading of coarse aggregate to be used in mastic depends upon the layer thickness. When it is laid as a wearing course for road pavement and bridge decks its thickness can be 25 to 40 mm or it can be up to 50 mm. But requirement of aggregate grading is same in both cases. However, the percentage of coarse aggregate will change with the thickness of the finished course. In case of 25 to 40, the coarse aggregate will be 30 to 40 percent, while in case of 41 to 50 mm thickness of the mastic, the coarse aggregate will be 40 to 50 percent. When it is used in footpaths, then gradation of aggregate will be only 6.3 mm and 2.36 mm and its thickness on footpath is 20 to 25 mm and percentage of coarse aggregate will be 15 to 30 percent only. Material passing 2.36 mm and retained on 75 micron is categorized as fine aggregate and it can be either crusher run screening material natural sand or a mixture of both. Should be clean, hard, durable, dry and free from soft or flaky particles or organic or other deleterious substances. The filler passing 75 micron and generally limestone powder is recommended. Passing 75 micron sieve having calcium carbonate content not less than 80% by weight. The grading of fine aggregate and filler together should satisfy this condition that passing 2.36 and retained on 600 micron should be 0 to 25 percent. 
passing 600 micron and retained on 212 micron it is 5 to 25 percent and similarly other sizes so grading of fine aggregate and filler should satisfy this requirement mixed design for mass tip is based on hardness number and what is suggested in irc code is that hardness number should be 30 to 60 at 25 degree centigrade without adding coarse aggregate to mass tick. And after adding coarse aggregate, its value should be in the range of 10 to 20 at 25 degree centigrade. Now, what is hardness number and how it is determined? I will tell you a little later. Binder content is fixed based on hardness number, but it should be in the range of 14 to 17 percent by weight of mix. Now, it depends upon the gradation of filler and fine aggregate. Based on the gradation of fine aggregate and filler, minimum and maximum value of binder content is suggested in IRC 107. Next is preparation of mastic asphalt mix. There are two ways of preparing mastic. It can be prepared using mastic cooker, which is a conventional method, or by using fully mechanized machines. The First step is the required quantity of materials for the mix will be converted to volumes with the help of measuring can because you know the specific gravity, you know the weight, you can convert that into volume. Then heating of filler alone will be done to a temperature of 170 to 200 centigrade in a mechanically agitated mastic cooker. Then half the required quantity of bitumen heated to 170 degree to 180 degree centigrade will be added to the filler and cooked for one hour after proper mixing. So here first we the filler is heated and then bitumen is added to this hot filler. But this quantity of bitumen is half of the total quantity. Then after that fine aggregate is added and another half bitumen at 170 to 180 degree centigrade will be added to the above prepared mix in the cooker and it will be heated again at 170 to 200 degree centigrade for another one hour. Then after that, the required quantity of coarse aggregate will be added and heating of the mix will continue for extra one hour. And during mixing and cooking, utmost care should be taken to ensure that the mix in the cooker at no time heated to a temperature exceeding 205 degree centigrade. Now this is a simple cooker for mastic three bins, you can coarse aggregate for fine aggregate for filler and bitumen can be added separately. And this is another one which is completely computerized, a machine, master cooker machine where all operations are controlled by a computer. Good thing about master is that if the material is not required for instant use, then you can cast the blocks of 25 kg. And these blocks are without coarse aggregate. The bitumen mastic block, when subsequently meant to be used at the site, will be transported to the site. The block will be broken into pieces not exceeding 60 millimeter cube and then remelted in the cooker at a temperature of 170 to 200 degrees centigrade. So you can cast all these blocks and then carry them to the site whenever they are to be used. These are the samples of mastic asphalt which are prepared in a mold of 100 mm diameter and 25 mm thickness. Then these molds are tested for their hardness number. The hardness number is defined as the figure denoting the depth in hundreds of a centimeter to which a flat ended indentation pin in the form of a steel rod 6.35 mm in diameter will penetrate the mastic under a load of 31.7 kg applied for 60 seconds and temperature being maintained at 25 degree centigrade or 35 degree centigrade or as per contract document. Now this load of 31.7 kg is equivalent to creating a pressure on this needle or steel rod which is equal to 100 kg per centimeter square and is achieved by means of a lever giving a suitable mechanical advantage. Now this is the machine to determine the hardness number. This is the weight of 31.5 kg 
this is the lever and here is the indentation pin and if you look inside it looks like this you have a water chamber here water bath here which is used to maintain the test temperature the sample is placed here and this is the steel rod of 6.3 millimeter diameter and then you apply the load here 31.5 kg through lever or maybe through some other arrangement and then maintain this pressure for 60 seconds and then measure the indentation in the or penetration in the sample that is called the hardness number. So to determine the hardness number sample size 100 mm diameter or it sometimes may be in square also and 25 mm depth. Sample will be cooled for not less than 3 hours in air or for not less than 1 hour in running cold water. Then it should be immersed in water at test temperature for at least 1 hour immediately prior to testing. After that the sample is transferred to the test machine where it shall again be immersed in water maintained at test temperature throughout the test. The indenter pin shall then be adjusted lightly but firmly in contact with the surface of the sample, the pressure being no greater than what is necessary to prevent later movement in the specimen. The requisite load shall then be applied for exactly 60 seconds and depth of indentation recorded in tenth of a millimeter. Test point shall not be less than 25 millimeter apart and not less than 25 millimeter from the edge and at least 5 readings shall be taken and then averaged. So that is how you prepare the test data. So you make two set of samples, one three samples without coarse aggregate and three samples with coarse aggregate and test temperature throughout will be 25 degree centigrade and for on each specimen you take five readings and these five readings should be as I told you 25 millimeter from the edge and distance between two points should also be not less than 25 millimeter. So these are the results, these are the penetration of the specimen and then take average of these and similarly average of this and then take average of all three value that is 57.9 in the hardness number and you compare what is required for your design. Similarly with coarse aggregate you get the data here. So that is how the test data are maintained. Next is laying of mastic and first is preparation of base. The base over which between mastic is to be done will be prepared, shaped and conditioned to the profile required and this base is generally bitumous concrete. We lay mastic over bitumous concrete. Then the surface will be swept clean and made free from dust and other harmful matters. The spots rich in binder shall be scrapped and repaired and the tap coat will be applied on the base. After tap coat is applied, then it is left to cure until all the volatiles has evaporated before any subsequent construction is started. Then mastic to be transported the site in a towed mixture transporter having arrangements for stirring and keeping the mix hot during transportation. And it will be then laid normally in one coat at 175 to 210 degree centigrade and is spread uniformly by hand using wooden floats. Mastic asphalt joints, all construction joints will be made by warming the existing bitumen mastic by application of an excess quantity of hot bitumen mastic which afterwards will be stripped off to make it flush with the surface on the other side. Joint shall be painted by a coat of VG30 grade bitumen and then treated with blocks of the base mastic with coarse aggregate and then softened by blow lamps and toweled to flush with the surface. Care should be taken to make these joints in the green stage itself otherwise the laid mastic surface shall start aging due to another round of heating. When laid manually the mastic surface has a very fine texture with very little skid resistance. Therefore, bitumen mastic while is still hot and in plastic condition shall be covered with a layer of stone aggregate. 
and these aggregates will be of the size 13.2 mm or 9.5 mm and it should be pre-coated with bitumen at the rate of 2% VG30 plus 2% filler. The chips to be added at the rate of 0.05 meter cube per 10 meter square that is around 5 to 8 kg per square meter and rolled. That is how mastic is constructed. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can write your suggestion in the comment box.